man. He got a lot of schemes. You know what I'm saying? And co-op, he's a he's a, he's a competitor. You know himself. I mean, he he kind he, he challenges us um, to learn the defensive plays. You know, he, he coaches fast, up tempo. He throws a lot of information at you and forces you to learn the information. You know what I'm saying? But um, and one thing he always tell us, you know, he, uh, you always fight for your brother next to you. You know, we always break break the huddle with 11 brothers. 11 brothers on the field at the same time. You know, you die for your brother. You do anything for your brother. Yeah. So when you break, I'm just, when you break, that's what you guys say. Eleven brothers. You had about three or four pass breakups out there in the scrimmage this morning. How did it get? How did it feel to get back out there in, in a game set, game situation? I felt good, man. Uh, knowing that it felt great, knowing that we was just going out on the field and just going like straight to a game, like a game like situation. You know where we didn't have to really burn ourselves out um, in drills and kind of be tired going into the um, going into the um, into the scrimmage, but. Um, it really, it really just felt good going out there, going against the offense, um, against some plays and making plays, uh, communicating with my guys. It's just effective uh, overall dominating us in defense. You tell me, I mean, they were missing obviously some key players up front offensively, mm -hmm. but still was, uh, in terms of how you guys played, uh, still an effort that you were pleased with. Right. Uh, I mean, we know that we know that the old line are missing a lot of guys, but you know, Coach Hop, Coach Hop tells us, you know, it, it really doesn't matter who lines up in front of you. You know, whether it's a uh, four-year guy, freshman guy, you treat. I mean, you play, you play every guy <clears throat> full speed. You know, 100%. You no know remorse. I mean, just go. Throughout spring, Coach has been praising the defense. What? Why do you think that the defense has been so highly praised, and why do you think the defense is? doing so well? I think right now the defense is at a point where, well, first of all, there are a lot of veteran guys on defense. And right now we're at a point where we feel as if we have to take it to the next level. We feel like we have to be the cornerstone of this team. You know, we feel like we have to be the backbone of this team. And, you know, we really, and like I said, we really starting to grasp the concept that Coach, um, that Coach Hop is putting in, you know, the, the schemes that he's putting in, you know, we're really starting to uh, understand what he wants, you know, um, from a defensive aspect. And coming into practice, I mean, we just bring that, we bring energy, we bring excitement, um, we bring uh, what you call swagger, you know. And we feel like one, if we play with those three elements, then we'll be successful as a defense. You mentioned the word swagger. Is that kind of a, a call word for the defense this year? Is that you guys are trying to make that your – I mean, is that – I mean, we feel as a, as a defense, as a team, you know, it's not just as a defense. We feel like you have to do everything. You have to, everything you do, you have to have a swagger about yourself, you know. And, and when you say swagger, it's really just, you know, a, self, a sense of self confidence. You know what I'm saying? Believing in yourself, believing in what you do, and let that display your actions on the field. Do you think that this swagger contributes to the fact that you move back to your your position of cornerback? Um. Nah, I mean, I, I feel like I had swag before. I mean, when I was at St. Um, last season. But I feel like the, the, the swagger is magnified or is up to another level, you know, like, you know, now that I'm back in my natural position, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I wouldn't use this as an excuse, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that I didn't have it when I was at St. Or it's more now than I'm at corner. You know, I, I feel like it was always present. But we're just trying to have that. Their swagger present as a unit, as a team, you know, as a defense. When you say the defense is, is starting to grasp this concept in a general way, how would you describe those concepts? What's what's different about this defense? Um, I mean, he, he kind of coach house. He let us, he lets us, you know, be us. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he's really as long as you're making your plays and you where you need to be once the ball snaps. And you playing your technique right. I mean, and you going one hundred percent. That's all that matters. Then you know it's really not a lot of restrictions on. You know you need to be right here. You need to do this. You need to do that. I mean, as long as you have, as long as you have, as long as you have a feel for what you're doing, and you're going one hundred percent. I mean, he, he kind of lays back and lets you be you, and let the players execute the defense. How much more freedom freeing is that? Freedom. I mean, it must. You can just go out there and be who you want to be. I mean, 
must really help the whole unit to kind of play with a bandit. Right, because it puts it puts you in a comfort zone. Yeah. Uh, you know, knowing that he, you know, he he just he calls a play and he sits back and he just lets us work the play. You know, instead of you know just being on us. You know, on, on ticket tack things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you know, he, he lets the players um, handle the defense, handle the game.